Billy, I suppose. Look, <laughs> look, <laughs> uh, you, you said to me not too long ago at, at the medal presentation, the delayed medal presentation for, for 2020, look, that nights like that don't come around for, for Limerick too often. Obviously, weeks like this don't come around for, for Limerick football too often or haven't in the last decade. I'm sure you're, you're looking forward to, to the week and the lead up, or, or can you enjoy it a bit? Yeah, but certainly, look, it, it, it'll be a good week for Limerick football, there's no two ways about that. It brings its own demands on, on the management team and just in preparation. Um, you don't have time to be thinking about enjoying it. You've got to just get focused and prepare and plan, and that's where our heads are at. In terms of, uh, I suppose, the preparation and coming up against uh, a, a side like Kerry, like you'll pr you'll probably know all about them coming coming into the game anyway. Like, is there anything additionally you can do now that you know that you're you're facing them in the final? Or no, we just focus on ourselves. You know, um, you could spend a lot of time talking about the opposition, and you fail to turn up on the day yourself. Then, so the our focus has got to be ourselves. I think you don't have to watch videos of Kerry to know what they're about. Everyone knows what Kerry wrote, so um, no, our priority will be ourselves, uh, so getting ourselves right mentally, physically and keeping it as simple as that. Have, yeah. a, have a plan for the day and take it from there. You've had obviously two promotions now, you've, you've had a, a league final, mm -hmm. obviously you've had successes. Is the buzz a bit different this week compared to, compared to maybe those instances? No, I don't think so. I haven't seen any of it yet. It's just normal, um, making sure the plan is right and we're working on it in the training ground. And, Everyone's a focused and challenging each other to make sure everything is the way we want it to be. But no, I haven't seen any, I haven't seen any specific difference anyway at the moment. Uh, just for yourself, Morris, obviously yeah. coming back in, I suppose the, the year so far probably couldn't gone any better other than the, obviously the league final, but, but what a year so far. Yeah, it's been a brilliant year. Um, it's been a great year for Limerick football. A lot of positives, you know, um, but it's been building, I think, you know, for what Billy and the rest of the backroom team have been doing over the last number of years. Uh, it's definitely been building towards the, the platform has been put down for the success that's been happening this year um, you know I don't think we've reached the ceiling yet so uh, it's been a great year I thoroughly enjoyed it you know um, I've had some great years of Limerick football different times over the different years but uh, very exciting to be involved uh, you know just, it's great to get ready for most of the final Um, so, Bill, you were involved in uh, Munster Final on Clarny before. Um, what experience from that day will be trying to pass on to the, the lads this week? I suppose the big thing is just to be relaxed and focused. I remember three and four. Um, that you know, it's just important just to be relaxed. It's just, a, it's just, an, it's just a game of football. Um, you know, um, we've got that experience here. Manus was there as dim, dim days as well, and um, that's the king. And just trying. Help the lads understand that, you know. Um, we've been in Crow Park this year and it's, it's just another day, it's just another game. Um, and, and, that's, and that's it. That's as simple as that. You know, we can get too caught up in what it's about. It's not about anything except the game of football. So we'll just keep it simple um, in how we approach it and take it from there. I think that's the lessons we would have picked up from three and four anyway when I was there, yeah. Uh, just Adrian, I suppose you've been involved in a lot of different finals over the years. and. Players this week will be really anxious to probably to do extra stuff and, and you're probably trying to monitor that. How do you ensure, I suppose, that Fales and kicking ball every night to be fine-tuned for Saturday? Are you just following the process that you follow all year? Or what's, what's your role in all this? Yeah, I think it's important to give the lads the autonomy um, to be in a situation that they're comfortable to be in themselves and guide them through that. That is important. Some lads, it's always a challenge to get them off the field. You know, they're kicking balls and they're there beforehand and... They've been doing that for the last three or four years since I've been involved, you know. So we've been trying to re-emphasise to the lads that, you know, we don't get too low about the bad days and we don't get too high about the good days. We just got to keep everything as consistent as we possibly can, be as objective as we possibly can with our analysis of what we're doing and, um, you know, just, just try and bring the game to, to carry 